You got your mama's sunshine. You got your daddy's rain. Hey guys, I'm back in the kitchen today and I have another special recipe to share with you. It's fall and it's also October, so it's spooky season. So I have a pumpkin. It's not one of those large pumpkins, it's actually a mini pumpkin, medium, medium sized pumpkin. So the recipe that I'm gonna be making today is the burnt basque pumpkin cheesecake. And usually during the season, people make pumpkin pie apple pie but I love cheesecake so I altered the recipe and I made it into a pumpkin cheesecake and so there's two parts to this recipe the first part is super easy it's just a pumpkin puree stick it in the blender and then the second part is the actual cheesecake part and since it's a burnt basque cheesecake there will be no crust to it so it's super easy you don't need to do the graham cracker crumb crust it's also called burnt because along with the no crust, you're also cooking it at a high heat. Burnt Basque cheesecake originated from Spain in this restaurant called La Vigna. Let's get on with the ingredients. So for the first part of our recipe, the pumpkin puree, all you're gonna need is a pumpkin without the seeds. For our cheesecake, you're gonna need three of these eight ounce cream cheese packages that you can get from the store. One and a fourth cup of granulated sugar, four eggs at room temperature, a 15 ounce or one and a half cup-ish of pumpkin puree or you know, the homemade pumpkin puree I'm gonna show you how to make. Three fourths cup of cream, two tablespoons of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of, uh, this is optional, pumpkin spice extract. One and a half teaspoon of cinnamon, a half teaspoon of nutmeg, and one fourth cup of all purpose flour. So it's time to start with our pumpkin puree. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the top off and we're gonna cut the pumpkin in half. And we're gonna put this on a baking sheet and we're going to cook this on a preheated 400 degree oven for 35 to 40 minutes. So I finished cleaning the pumpkins. There's no seeds in the pumpkins. They're all in this container. I'm gonna bake this later. And now that we're done, all we have to do is place it in a baking sheet, skin up, so like so. And then we're gonna bake this for 35 to 40 minutes until it's fork tender, which means I can stick a fork in it really easily and it's like soft. You guys, the pumpkins are done after uh, 40 minutes. I actually extended the time. And how you can check to see if your pumpkins are done is with the fork tender test. So basically just, see? So it's peeling. <laughs> Watch this. So smooth and creamy. Ooh. So before we start our cheesecake, you want to prepare your pan. And since we are making a Basque burnt cheesecake, um, it's, the batter is going to be a little bit runny, and so we want to make sure that nothing spills out the side. So we're going to line it with some parchment paper. Just press it in real good. Doesn't have to be perfect. And you see how there's like space here too? Take another one and then do the same thing. So let's start with our cheesecake. So the first thing we need to do is cream our cream cheese with our sugar. So we've got our cream cheese, open it up. 
This is room temperature as well, so it's very soft already. It has fully creamed together and it looks smooth and well incorporated. Now we need to add the eggs one at a time. So we'll start with one. So it's time to bake our cheesecake. So I'm gonna put it in this baking sheet along with these smaller ones. We're gonna bake this for 60 to 65 minutes. So about an hour to an hour and five minutes. And also, since again, this is a burnt Basque cheesecake, there is no crust on it, but I'm gonna cook it on 400 degrees Fahrenheit, the same as what I cooked my puree, which I already preheated my oven to. And we're gonna cook it until it has a deep brown color on top. And it's kind of jiggly in the middle. Ta-da! So, I finished baking the cheesecake. I actually added about an extra like five minutes to it. When I do this, the cheesecake is still a little bit jiggly in the center. See, it's like soft. But we're gonna let this sit for 10 minutes in the mold, in the pan. Since it's still jiggly, we're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes before unmolding it. And then later, we're gonna unmold it, but keep the parchment on it, and then remove the parchment when it's fully, completely chilled. So the pan itself isn't too hot anymore. I can touch it and it's not gonna burn me. The bottom is still kinda hot though. But I'm gonna unmold it right here. So just pop that open. And as you can see, it's now loose. I'm just gonna slowly take this parchment paper, bring it over like so, carefully. And then take this side part and just lift. We're not gonna take the parchment paper off. We're gonna keep that there and let it cool until it's completely cool so it's not warm anymore and this jiggly part starts to cool. Hey you guys, it's been about 30-ish, 45 minutes and the cake has completely set so I'm just going to peel off the parchment paper. The cheesecake has fully chilled. 
it is not warm to the touch anymore. I've moved it onto this beautiful platter. And so now we're going to cut it and taste it. Oh, it's so soft. And it's time to taste. Look at that. It's so pretty. It has the perfect consistency. It's perfectly burnt. Holds nicely. I'm excited. <laughs> it's time to taste. Mmm. Um. That's good. It's creamy. Definitely not as dense as a regular like New York style cheesecake, but it's still really good and it's not that sweet and the caramelized burnt part on top is what really makes it sweet because it really balances well with the actual cheesecake part and that burnt top is the defining factor of the burnt Basque cheesecake because that burnt top brings out the deep flavors of the cheesecake giving it like a new dimension when you eat it and it's delicious and amazing and my mom can't stop eating it Thank you guys for watching this new video. We love, love, love you all. And don't forget to click that subscribe button down below to join our family and stay updated for new videos. I'm excited. And if you want to follow us on our social media platforms, it's at, at the intersection on Instagram.